Eddie Wu was named the local hero in the Australian of the Year Awards and he was listed in the world's top ten teachers. All of this because he makes maths fun and interesting. And now his latest book is Wu's Wonderful <laughs> World of Maths. So let's welcome back to Studio 10 the one yes. and only Eddie Wu. Yes. Yay! Hey. 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 So good to be yeah. <laughs> Eddie, I love that you enjoy teaching maths, but for many of us, it just wasn't our best subject at school. And that's why I'm in television. Where do you start? Well, for me, I have to say I identify with that a lot. Angela, I had a lot of difficulty with mathematics at school. No. English, history, drama, there were sort of things that felt much natural to me. But I realised after giving this a go and teaching, I've been teaching more than 10 years now, um, it's something I think everyone can learn. And that's what I'm here to show you a little bit of. Fantastic. Now, you've brought some cards. I do have a couple of props here. All right. So one of the things which I think is important is people need to realise mathematics is all about patterns, you know? There are lots of patterns in things you might not necessarily expect, and that includes things like a deck of cards. So I'm just going to sort of fan them out just so you can see. These are all different cards here. Um, they've got some cool little um, Australian icons on them. These are Qantas cards. But um, they're all different cards. They're not all the same, okay. right? Now, in order to show you a trick with this, I need a bit of your help. Okay. okay. So, Narelda, can you yes. give me a number between 10 and 20? Okay. Out loud? Yeah, out loud, okay, please. Okay, 13. 13. Okay, so I'm going to deal out 13 cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very good. Okay. Now. I'm lucky for some. Well, we'll see if it's going to be lucky for us. Okay. Now, uh, Peter, can I ask you for a number as well? This time, can you give me a number between seven and thirteen? Any number you like. Nine. Nine. Okay. Very good. Now, I'm going to take these two numbers, thirteen, nine, and show you um, a really beautiful pattern. But before I do that, these cards, I'll make sure they're all really mixed up. Okay. okay so I'm going to shuffle them through there. I'm going to do a bit of a, um, a cut here, like so. And then the last one, the fanciest one, is the uh, what they call the riffle shuffle. So it looks like this. Uh, you sort of put them together like that, and you sort of... Oh, sorry. Make sure I do this right. Uh, like so. If you coordinate, and then it all comes together. Okay. Yep. Now, Pete, your number was nine, wasn't nine. it? Okay, here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Put them on top. Done it once. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put them on top. Okay. One last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put it on top. Now, Nerada, Pete, you really chose those numbers, didn't you? Yes. I didn't ask you to no, do no, that. No, no. It's totally. your free choice, okay? Yep, yep. It was all mixed up, all shuffled. But I reckon using mathematics, there's a pattern here that can help me predict what this card is on the top. I think it's the ten of diamonds. Do you want to see if that's right? Okay, no, yeah. Right. Let's have a look. The what Ten of Diamonds, my friends. Yes. Thank you very much. Mathematician or magician? Yes. What are well, you? Um, there's this great quote I love, which is that um, things are magic until you understand them. Do you want to see how this yes, all works? Please. Yes, please. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got this uh, little space here to write on, and I'm going to illustrate what's going on. Tell me this doesn't turn into calculus. Uh, no calculus involved. Okay. <laughs> um, it is important to know, one of the things that mathematicians do all the time, when a problem looks really strange and complicated and big, we, we look at a simpler version of the problem, and I'm going to show you a simpler version here that's a little easier to write, and then we see if that principle will help us understand. Right. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Instead of a big number like, say, 13, I'm going to pick a smaller number like, say, um, 6 will do. Okay? Yeah. okay. So if I had 6 cards, let's number them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now this 6th one down here, I'm going to put a different colour on it, and you'll see why in a second. I'm going to call it the, uh, the X card. Okay? It's very important to me. You'll see why in a second. Now. We had uh, those cards in my hand, and then I dealt them out. Now, how did I deal them? Well, I asked you for a different number. Right? Mm -hmm. You said nine. In this case, I'm going to go with four. Again, just smaller to keep it going. Yep. Now, imagine these are the cards in my hand. As I deal them down, what's the first card that goes down on the table? The it's going to be the one on the top, right? So card number one goes closest to the table. Let's draw a table here. Right. Okay. What's the next card that goes down? Two. It'll be two. And I keep on going, right? Three and then four, but then I didn't get all the way through the pack, did I? You only told me to deal out no, some yeah, of them, right, not all yeah, of them. Right. So I took what was left in my hand. I've dealt one, two, three, four. What's left in my hand now? It's uh, these guys. Five yeah, and, down the bottom, right? and yeah. yeah, five and X. And then I just put them down on top. Yeah, yeah. so they've reversed. So now they have put down on top, like this. Yeah. See how it's going? Okay, so yeah. this is so what it looks okay. like now. Mm -hmm. I've done it once. This is my first time. I'm going to go again. Right? But watch what happens. What's the first card? Five. It's a five, right? It's the five. Then and the then X. it's the X. 
and then it's the four. four. Yeah, I got some audience three. participation here then. The three. And then lastly, I put down these last two. Does okay. that make sense? That's the other the two way around. And the one, but the other way around, okay? I did it ha -ha. two times. Ah, now you see what's going on. Here's uh -huh. the last time. Careful viewers would have noticed I did this exactly three times. Watch what happens. I'm going to start dealing down. What's the first card that goes on the table? It's the two. two yeah. yep. Then one. the one. Then three. the three. Then the four. And then I take these guys boom, boom. and I whack them on the top. The X. That's that special card I told you about. And lastly, this guy. And then I revealed, ooh, I know what this card is because I sort of snuck a quick look at the <laughs> bottom and I knew that this pattern would emerge. You can see how this card moves around and it always So no matter how many times you do it? Nope. You see? There I you have go. a question, Pete, sir. Please. Please, I have a question. If I'd have said eight, would you still do it three times? If I'd have said... That's right. Uh, in fact, you see, uh, instead of doing 13 and 9, I did 6 and 4 here. Well, I could have done 50 and 30. It will always work. Are you allowed into casinos? Yeah, no, they've got my <laughs> face on posters now and they say do not allow entry. Um, uh, but there's the pattern. So this see. is the basis for a lot of magic tricks. A lot of magic tricks yep. are actually just mathematics. Yes, right. Yeah. And awesome. now you understand it. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's so a I can, go home, I can go out now and, and just grift kids at schools. Uh, look, I would never encourage you no, to do but that, but you totally could, Pete. Cool. You totally I'm could. Going to. <laughs> now, why has Pete got a loop of paper here? Okay, yep. sure. Now, we all have a few loops of paper, actually, because one of the things which I talk about in my book is that people often think maths is all about numbers. And clearly there are some numbers involved, right? But maths is more than numbers, and that's why I've got these uh, little props here. Oh, I've lost one. There was a green one that's just disappeared. Does anyone Did see? It no. It's, uh, yeah, I want to oh. show you. There's a piece of cardboard. Is it just... There oh, it thank is, you so right? much, Norella. Trained professional would know that. <laughs> now, these pieces of cardboard here, Nothing to do with numbers, and you can see all I've done is I've taken some cardboard and I've stuck it together. So you've got a bit of a loop so the camera can see down there, OK? Yeah. Now, I'm going to do something really obvious. You're going to think, what's the big deal here? I'm going to cut this loop in half, okay. OK? Now, you can see it's sort of like a cylinder, and as I cut it in half, no surprises, when you cut an object like this in half, well, when you finish going all the way down, unsurprisingly, you get... Whoop, Two pieces. Two objects. Amazing. So far, no so big deal, good. Right? So far, so good. That's what you that. expect. Now, Narada, you also yes. have a loop here. Yes. I wonder if you could take your pair of scissors. Okay. And before you, as you get ready to cut it, yep. what you can see is Narada's loop is a little bit different to mine. It's sort of twisted so around I'm, a little bit. I'm cutting it. Okay. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. So okay. you can cut yep. it down the middle. Now, there's a sort of turn in this twist. And as you can see, Narada cutting around, she's doing exactly the same thing that I was doing. Uh, it's exactly the same kind of cardboard yep. that I had, just a different colour. But as you get toward the end, just slow down a little bit. Okay. Before everyone sees what happens, what do you predict will happen? Well, oh. you know, just like oh. I had. I'm trying to, I'm trying to picture it. Yeah, just like I had, I had two pieces, still right? be separate pieces. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. now, Nerado, okay. do you want to finish the cut? Yes. It's still going to be separate, surely. Okay, now, okay. once Nerado's cut it, would you hold that up for us, please, Nerado? Oh! Whoa, hold on a second. What's going on there? Oh, wow. Is now, this, is, this is not two pieces. Okay. Wow. This is one. Yeah. Okay, now, here's the last fun bit. Okay. Peter, you also have a piece of card All there. Right. It's a little more twisted. Go. Like Peter. What happens <laughs> when you t do the card on yours? Because, you know, mine turned into two. Yours turned into one, one. Narelda. Yep. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with Peter's? You're right oh, there. Oh, nearly. Okay. You're nearly there. Nearly. Ready? Here Can we, we go. Try Big to reveal. Predict. Here it is. Now, hold on. Oh, Peter, what have you got? Have you got one or two? I've got two, but they're joined. Oh, they're you've got oh. two separate pieces, but if you hold them up, here, I'll take... There we go. Look, they're yeah, I'll move up. this around for you. They're joined together. And you see, mathematics is about exploring weird That's kind cool. of geometry like this. And it's just a bit of fun. It's just yeah. curious. That's what the book is about. Eddie, we love you. We do. You are so rock star. And yeah. for Eddie's new book, it's called Woo's Wonderful World of Maths. Don't forget to grab yourself a copy. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Kenny. Thank you so much.